Hey guys, Eric and Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. This is my next grip review and this one is on the Umarex Hammer. This is a 50 caliber big bore air rifle. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. I'd like to say a quick thank you to Umarex USA. If you guys are interested in their products, go to www.umarexusa.com. Okay, so aesthetics first, guys. We're gonna go over basically what this gun has to offer. Then we'll go through the how to operate it. And then we'll go through the performance. So back to front, side to side. I know it sounds like a dance, right? This is how we're gonna do it. So at the back, we have the rubber recoil pad attached to its Poly One Design synthetic black and green stock. The first safety we're gonna come across from back to front is the hammer block. It's actually a screw that you unscrew when you're wanting to fire it, unscrew it, make sure the rubber, rubber red O-ring is flush with the stock, and then the hammer is unblocked, so it is now ready, able to fire. In front of that, you'll find the straight pull speed bolt action. Um, it has two pounds of cocking effort, super simple. And in front of that, you'll also find a lever where you push forward and it ejects the mag. So that's where you cannot just pull the mag out by itself. You must push this lever for it to eject. On the bottom, you're gonna find a place for a swivel stud to mount a sling, and you'll also find the degassing screw. Next, let's move on to the manual trigger safety, which is right behind the trigger. That's basically a push forward, push back manual safety. Then you have the single stage non-adjustable trigger above the Magpul AR style grip, which is interchangeable with other AR style grips. That's super sweet. It also has a compartment in the bottom of it. Open it up put some pellets, put some of these Nielsen specialty ammo slugs in like a baby sock or a little pouch, stuff it up in there, you have extra ammo wherever you go. We have the foster fitting, the standard foster fitting where you don't have to have extra accessories or probes to be able to fill this gun. It's super simple, I love that. Then when we move forward from that, we have M-lock rails, guys. On the bottom, see I have a swivel stud right here, and I actually use this to hook to a rope that I have on my stand, so I'm not carrying the gun up the ladder. I actually pull it up there. It's a, a little bit safer that way. And then it also has M-lock rails right here to be able to mount whatever accessories you desire. We have the 29 and a half inch shrouded and rifled barrel. This is a German made barrel, so good quality. And we have the air cylinder right here, Maxville 4500 PSI. And in order to achieve that fully, you're gonna need to use a compressor. Uh, filling with a bottle, you're not gonna get the full 4500 PSI. You're gonna get a little bit low. You can still get three really good shots out of filling it with a bottle. I know, cause that's what I do. and. I have no issues with it at all. Now this is the only big bore PCP that I know of that's regulated. Yes, regulated. That means consistent, 3000 PSI per shot. That means consistent accuracy and consistent power. The company claims four shots per fill. I would stick to three. The fourth one is not full power and it's gonna drop a little more than the first three. So, but three should be plenty enough, I would think. Okay, moving to the other side. <laughs> On the other side, we have the easy to read pressure, pressure gauge over here. Like I said, super easy to read. You can see where 4,500 PSI is. Don't overfill the gun. If you wanna get the full 4,500 PSI, use a personal compressor. Oh, and before I move on to the optic and the rail, one more thing about this, it has another safety feature. It's got three safety features. The third safety feature is a mag lock where this gun cannot be fired unless a magazine is inserted into the breech. So overall length from butt 
to muzzle is 43.75 inches long and the weight is eight and a half pounds. Mine probably weighs maybe a little over 10 pounds because the ATN optic is a little on the heavy side. Okay, last thing in aesthetics is the optics rail. This is a Picatinny rail or Weaver rail, um, which I prefer those over dovetail. They just seem to be meatier and have more to grab onto. On that rail, I have mounted my ATN x 4K Pro. This is a day slash night scope. The reason I have that mounted on here is because the hammer is a hunter, guys. That's its complete total purpose is for big game hunting. And that's right up my alley. Okay guys, operation. So how do we operate the hammer? How do we make it function like it's supposed to? Well, let's take it to the range and find out. Safety first, you always want to make sure that your safeties are, both of your manual safeties are engaged before you fill the tank. Make sure the hammer block screw is completely tightened in and your manual trigger safety is on safe. After you've mounted the scope, you're gonna need air, guys. It's an air rifle, right? So with the standard fill port, you're gonna connect your bottle, your compressor, whichever you prefer to use, to it and fill it to 4,500 PSI. Make sure you fill it completely so that you get every bit of power out of it that you can. After you finish with that, replace the rubber um, fill port cover. It keeps any dust and dirt from getting into it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load the mag. So in order to load the mag, you're, the second safety that is um, on the stock, you're gonna need to unscrew that until the red O-ring is flush with the stock. Once you get that unscrewed, take the bolt and put it in half cock position, push the lever in front of the bolt forward and your mag will eject. So you're gonna eject the mag, pull it out, you're gonna load your pellets in it. I have Nielsen Specialty 320 grain slugs. Those have been absolutely beautiful for me. Push your pellets in and depress the as you're putting the mag back into the breech, you're gonna to have to depress the floor of the breech a little bit in order to get the mag to go back in. You never wanna leave a mag out of the breech. For one, um, the biggest reason I believe is because you don't wanna allow debris to get in there in the well and cause issues. So always leave a mag in the breech. When operating this gun, make sure you keep all parts away from the breech because air does escape it. And you might think it's a little bit, but I've actually shot it and had it up against my stomach. Good thing I had some thick overalls on. I could still feel it. So I could imagine what it would feel like on a bare hand or an arm. So make sure you keep all parts away from the breech at all times. Just get in the habit of doing that. We've got the bolt action at half cock. Now, if you don't wanna cock it yet, you just wanna have the ammo in there and ready, just push the bolt forward and then put the secondary safety back on, screw it all the way in. If you're ready to cock it and you're ready to shoot, just pull the bolt back, push it forward, disengage the other safety, and now you're ready to fire. Okay guys, so performance. Um, this one performs really well and one of the reasons I believe it does is because it's regulated, guys. 3,000 PSI per shot, that means more consistency with power and more consistency with accuracy. Let's find out. Before we get to that, guys, let's see what we get for a trigger pull. Umarex claims it has a three pound trigger pull. Let's see what I get. So the first time I got two pounds at 15 ounce trigger pull, <laughs> right there at three pounds pretty much. And the second time it was two pounds, nine ounces. So yeah, pretty right on the money, a three pound, a three pound trigger pull. Oh, I missed that time. All right, let's go ahead and shoot it guys and check out accuracy, velocity, foot pound energy, and see what my DB meter says about this one. Is it backyard friendly? What do you think? I only do three shot groups because the fourth shot, you're really gonna have to guess how low it's gonna hit and I don't recommend that for hunting. 
Max velocity, not sure what ammunition they're using, but they claim a thousand feet per second. I absolutely believe it and you'll see why shortly. They also claim a muzzle energy of 700 foot pounds. 700 foot pounds, <laughs> that's huge. The first shot was a little low, but that's okay. This is at 50 yards and I'm actually hunting from about 43 yards. And yes, every yard counts when it comes to air guns. So the first shot, I got 914 feet per second. That's 593.54 foot pounds of energy. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, so the second shot. Second shot, absolutely beautiful. Right there almost on top of the first shot. Okay, so I am going to... Still not backyard friendly. With the second shot, the chronograph was reading 922 feet per second. That's producing 603.97 foot-pounds of energy. The third shot, it was a bit lower than the first and second, but it's to be expected. The third shot, I was getting 872 feet per second. That's 540 foot-pounds of energy. So that was one three-shot group. Does the hammer perform like this all the time? I don't know, let's do it again. Well, I guess that answers my question. This gun performs. Okay guys, so cons and pros. I know most people go pros and cons, but I like to start with the bad and move on to the good. And really there's only one con when it comes to the Umarex hammer. And that is the amount of air that escapes out of the breech when you shoot it. Um, it is quite a bit. Like I said previously, I shot it with the breech up against my stomach. I could feel it. I couldn't imagine what it would feel like if it was a bare hand. I imagine it would hurt pretty good. So that's about the only con. And the little thought in the back of my mind is, I wonder how much more power this gun would get if you could actually stop the air from escaping out of the breech and all of it push the projectile down the barrel. Just a thought. Maybe one day we'll find out. Okay, so what are the pros, guys? We went over the one con. What are the pros? There, there's definitely more than one. The first one is that this gun is regulated. A regulated big bore, regulated 50 caliber air gun. That is super sweet, 3,000 PSI per shot. Consistent accuracy, consistent power. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? Next thing is um, the three safety features it has. I mean, this is a big bore air rifle. It's meant for hunting, it's meant for killing. We need to take it serious and Umarex has. The next, the bolt action is super easy to cock, a two pound cocking effort. I mean, it's almost like butter. Then there is the um, two shot mag and you get two of those. So basically when you shoot your first two shots, you eject the mag, you place it with the other, you're ready to go again. The trigger, it's a three pound trigger, which some might think, golly, that's heavy, but it's really not bad. Really not bad at all. The standard fill port, that's definitely a pro. No additional accessories or fill probes that you've got to keep up with. The easy to read um, manometer over there, the Picatinny rail, um, the look of it is very sweet. It's not big, clunky, and chunky, and ugly. It's actually pretty dang cool and tactical looking. Tactical. The AR style grip, which is interchangeable with other AR style grips. There is more, I'm sure, but I, oh, M lock rails. Don't let me leave that out. That's pretty cool. You got M lock rails to mount any kind of accessory that you would like to. What else is there, guys? I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's plenty more, but that's what's coming to my brain right now. So, um, I mean, there's so much, so much. The Umarex hammer, yes, it took a while to come out. I'm glad they took the time to get it right because it is right.
Absolutely sweet big bore air rifle. My favorite, my absolute favorite. Go to Gateway to Air Guns, check out the video. It has so much information for amateurs, for professionals, I mean, just from every spectrum of air, the air gunning world, Gateway to Air Guns has it. You can get on there and interact with other air gunners, um, experts and beginners and PCP lovers, Springer lovers, just everyone. Everyone is on there interacting, giving information, receiving information. So get on there and join them, guys. Again, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. I guess that's it for today, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya. And the next DB reading was 102.6. Oh no, come back on power. Come back on. You can do it. Come back on. We're in the dark. Power just went out.